Hey guys, so today we're going to be doing the Shadow Plague, but we're going to be playing it wrong. And the reason this is all sped up and I'm commentating over it after the fact is because it took several hours for me to record this. And I wasn't able to make filler conversation for the whole entire time. But basically what you can see here is I'm going country to country as the vampire, and I am killing all of the population. And I'm first focusing on the Templar bases, as you would in a typical strategy, but I only go for every single upgrade, and I never go for the Symptoms, the Shadow Blessing, or anything like that. Now, the reason I'm doing this is, one, because of entertainment, but also two, because it is for an achievement. Now, the achievement specifies that you need to beat the game without the Shadow Slaves. You can pick up other symptoms like Shadow Blessing, you can get Lethality, but then they're going to start work on the cure. I don't want to do this while having to deal with the cure. So what I did instead was I took the long route, and especially because, again, this is for video purposes, entertainment purposes, I just did it with a vampire. You're not going to see the whole recording of me making it to the end, and I'm sorry for that, but that's because it took so long to do this, I didn't expect it to take several hours. But it took so long to do this that apparently I didn't have enough storage on my hard drive. So I ended up cutting it out in the Americas, and I was heading from continent to continent. So I went from Greenland to Iceland, to Europe, to Asia, to Oceania, and then I went to Africa, and then South America, and then I went up to North America. But it cut out somewhere in Central America, somewhere in Mexico, around there. But you get the idea. You you don't have to do this to get the achievement. But I played this game entirely wrong the whole entire time. And I stockpiled somewhere above 10,000 DNA points. It was a really, really long and painful journey. As you can see on the timer on the top right, it's already been 10 years since we started this disease. Because if you don't know Plague Inc., it starts on the current day. And I started recording this on the 23rd. So for it to already pass 10 years, and I'm shifting constantly through continent to continent, country to country, it's very, very painful to see that no matter what genes I get, no matter how much effort I put into it, no matter what I want to do, this is an unbearable strategy, and nobody should ever, ever do it. And that's exactly why I did it. That way, you wouldn't have to. So you can just sit back, relax, and watch me get to the Americas. Now, again, the recording stopped, and I'm sorry, but I did it so far into the run, and then it cut out. It's entertaining to see that the cure progress, the potential in the cure menu being destroyed, and it's also kind of mesmerizing to see that number of the dead count upwards to 7 billion people. But just imagine something wiping people out and slowly but surely over the course of 30 40 years your the human population goes from 7 billion to only under 1 billion that would be crazy to have to think of like how would we even function because we rely on each other in this world as cliche as it might sound china produces a whole bunch of stuff that we need they have the most of the elements that are used to build smartphones and everything and whether we like it or not, they make stuff cheap, and we as consumers like that, even if it's by unethical means. We like cheap stuff, and that's just who we, how we are as humans, that's just human nature. So imagine just being unable to function as a society, because something slowly wipes the world out. Would you rather be part of the people that go first, or would you rather be some of the remaining survivors in the world? I'm not sure where I'd stand on that, but... That's an interesting thing for you guys to debate in the comments if you watch this video, if you watch this far into it. But yeah, I'm going to stop rambling on, enjoy the time lapse, and just know that if you're going to do this to get the achievement, it's better to just go with lethality. Take out all the wealthy nations first, Canada, the United States, most of Europe, Australia, and New Zealand. Take them out first, Japan as well, and then start work on lethality. You just don't need shadow slaves. That's the only way you get the achievement. There's my little guide to get that achievement. I wouldn't do this. I only did it because I really went for the masochist part of that achievement. Anyway, enjoy the rest of the video. I'll talk to y'all later.